All right, guys, welcome back. Tarantino's in Statesboro at Five Points Market on 2855 Northside Drive. Getting ready to make mussels fra diablo, as I had uh, mentioned before. Super simple dish. I'm just setting up where I can uh, see what you, see you guys on here. So, if you're watching, uh, you can hear everything okay. That last video, by the way, for those of you who've been following me, I've been having problems with videos for the past month. We finally got it. So, finally figured it out. Now I just gotta figure out how to zoom in and out. So, learning as I go also. So, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, you know, one of the greatest things you can do to support, even when you can't get here, even if you're not from Georgia, which I'm sure you, if you're not from Georgia, I'm gonna end up cooking for you at one point in time or another, is sharing these videos, liking, giving your feedback. It helps uh, tremendously. So, so, um, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Um, anyway, yeah, liking and sharing helps out tremendously. So anyway, we got our peppers. Mussels fried diablo, a little bit of olive oil. I put in a lot of garlic. You got some crushed red pepper, some Italian cherry pepper, some jalapeno. Um, we're gonna let this heat up with our mussels. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cap this, kinda help the mussels along a little bit so it goes a little faster. So while that's going, well, my son, I just got a notification that he's like, my son, uh, Joseph Tarantino, for those of you that like gaming, Joseph Rico Tarantino III, which is my son, is a live stream gamer, which is pretty cool. Um, he's a little entrepreneur and he's uh, actually getting paid to play video games, which is pretty wild. All right, so make sure we got enough gas in there. We'll let that heat up, let those pop open. Once they uh, pop open, then we're gonna add the marinara um, and a little bit of stock to it. We're gonna drop the pasta in the water. Another simple dish. If I were to eat these, I'm not crazy on spice. It's probably too spicy for me. Like the rattlesnake pasta, I'll do it a level two. Hi, Sarah, how are you? Larry, you better not be fishing. Thomas, how you doing? Amy. Jacinda, did I say that right? How are you? We'll give this a couple of minutes. So what are you guys doing tonight? Where are you watching from? Now, if you guys want some mussels fried Diablo tomorrow night after we're done cooking this, I will be doing this tomorrow night. Just give me a call. It's not on the uh, DoorDash or the uh, Borrow Takeout or a Bullet To Go. It's not on those yet, but um, if you would like to have this and you want to come swing by and try it, just give me a buzz and I'll make it for you. I did buy a bunch of mussels. Charles, my friend, how are you? Nice. It's starting to pop open now. Get this nice and hot. Now see, I like doing mine. My favorite's the little necks. Uh, for those of you that know me and have dined with me in the past, I used a little neck clams and a white wine lemon garlic butter sauce over pasta. And I'll even get some uh, canned clams and throw that in there too and heat it up in there. Or you can just shuck more clams. But oh my God, that's my favorite dish. And I was thinking about doing that with this one. But we have a lot of spice lovers around here because that rattlesnake pasta is our number one. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> my Delia. That's our number one selling dish. It remains to be the number one selling dish. Seems like a lot of people love spice around here. So what else would you guys like to see us cook? Throw some ideas out there. Um, oh, we're going to be doing a contest this week for next week that everybody can be a part of uh, to win two large free pizzas. And guys, if you're in the area, those that live local here to our states, bro, stop in and check out this market. Um, it's a great little market. They got the gas station. They got a little car wash they're doing out back. Pretty little winery there. It's a very nice store. The bathrooms are beautiful. Um, come check it out. They got great prices for gas. Just about done. They're almost all popped open. Well, thank you, Charles. Larry, of course you're at the Tybee Pier. Sarah, you never had mussels? 
Well, you have to come try it one day. I like, honestly, I like clams better. Those of you that are, are watching that aren't able to come get to me, remember, I do couples cooking classes. I do uh, restaurant consultant. I got that YouTube channel to help small businesses or any restaurants for that matter uh, profit, uh, help with their profit and bring uh, money to the bottom line. Um, I do tours of Italy packages, anniversary dinners, catering, and I'll travel anywhere in the United States. So wherever you guys need me, I'm willing to go. So don't think that... Uh, uh, this is just for Georgia. It's for everybody. All right, we're just about ready. So now I'm going to add some red sauce. I am going to need stock. This is going to be nice. Now we can let this heat up without that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get, if I had a nice pasta bowl, um, we would use that to pour this in there. So I'm going to drop some pasta in the pasta water. Remember, if you... If you cook off pasta at home and you want to cook a bunch off and save it, drop a little oil in there um, and then just wrap it up in bags, however many portions you want. Now, it's only going to be good for about three days. After three days, I, I wouldn't use it. It starts to uh, uh, get a smell to it. So the pasta is only good for three days after it's cooked. But anyway, the point I was getting at, when you cook your pasta al dente, um, when you drop it into the hot water to heat like we do in the restaurants, you only want to drop it in there for about 30 seconds just to heat the pasta because it's already cooked. You heat it too long, then you end up with oodles and noodles. I just met... Oh, the shrimp alfredo? We're just about there. Do you got a spoon? Try a little bit of this. All right, move this out of the way. We're going to slide this back a little bit. Oh, this is going to be delicious. Oh my gosh. How am I going to taste it with that? <laughs> I'll do it. I feel like I'm at home. Except it's not a wooden spoon. That's really good. Really, 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 really good. That's nice now. Very nice. Pretty much every one of them's open. All right, we're going to drop the pasta in the hot water. <laughs> We're gonna turn that down, it's done. Woo, that has some heat to it. You might like that, a little too hot for me. Great flavor. The juice from the bag, don't waste anything. Any any juice that you have and anything you make, save it. Just all with more flavor. Hi Archie, how are you? All right, so we're gonna put our pasta in here like this. Normally it'd be a pretty pasta bowl. All right, mussels fried Diablo for those of you that are just joining. I'm gonna put that over the top. And then of course, must have cheese. Must have a lot of cheese. Must have extra cheese. Bada bing. <laughs> Love my cheese. Anyway, that's the mussels for Atiavo. Let me see if I can lower this camera down for you so you can get a little better picture of that. I just got to learn how to use the zoom on this thing. All right. That's the mussels for Atiavo. Guys, please like, share, tell me where you're watching from. Comments, welcome, anything that you'd like to see. Muscles fried down. Maybe I'll do seafood uh, Alfredo next week. So get some good pictures of that here. Get a good panoramic view. I'm so happy I finally figured out how to shoot this video without it glitching. And we have sound. <laughs> now I just gotta learn how to zoom in and out without moving the whole tripod. All right, guys, well, that's it for tonight. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching that. Any questions or anything that you guys like to see, please don't hesitate to uh, let me know. I'd love to uh, cook whatever it is that you like. Remember, you got your, for those of you that live locally, you got a personal chef right here in Statesboro. So I'll make anything that you want. It doesn't have to be on the menu. 
Um, also, please spread the word. I'm hiring. For those that live local, I need some strong people. Um, I had some private messages come to me talking about, well, how are you going to find people that have a clean Facebook page? Well, the reason, when I say clean Facebook page, I really don't interested in whatever you're into and all that stuff. I'm not, I don't judge people. You do whatever you want in your personal life. I just can't have anybody that blasts to the local public that they hate this person, they don't like this. It's just got to be a good fit for the business. And we want every guest that comes in here to feel comfortable. So that's what I'm talking about, about a clean Facebook page. Um, nothing that's going to upset a guest walking in or a fellow employee, um, you know, because it could be misconstrued as uh, harassment. So we want to avoid that at all costs. So that's what I meant by that about having a clear Facebook page. You share what you want with your friends, do what you want. I'm nobody to judge. I'm not perfect at all. Um, to me, everything matters. People matter. God matters. All that. That's just how I believe. The American flag matters. All that. I love everybody and uh, love our country and the world for that matter. So I just want to make sure that anybody that comes aboard, they understand that that's how I am. Don't expect them to be like that, but I expect them to make sure if they're posting things publicly that it doesn't hurt anybody at all. No matter where you're from, where you, what religion you are, um, what your beliefs are, super important to just love because we all, we all hurt the same, we all love the same, um, we all do push-ups the same. I saw that on some video earlier today. But it's important to uh, stay together as a group and just focus on what we need to do and uh, that's how we can live a happy, better life. So guys, thank you so much. I didn't mean to get off on a tangent. Have a great night. I'm out. I'm going to get ready to, uh, to eat this. I'm still open for another hour and a half for anybody that needs pizzas. We just started staying open until 10 this week. Please keep checking the page in my menu uh, at the shop now for changes all the time and I'll let you guys know when I'm doing the prime rib again and uh, maybe we'll do some more dishes tomorrow. Thank you so much for sharing and watching. I love you guys. Have a blessed night and take care of each other. Love each other. Good night.